a sound that's become too familiar in many parts of Syria. As government jets hit targets in Al Huayqa district in Deir ez Zor, there's been heavy fighting and bombardment in the eastern province for the last several days. Victory here is measured by clearing street by street or building by building. Rebels say they've made gains over taking a Ba'ath party building and army checkpoints. Activists say that fighters launched multiple rockets at the military intelligence headquarters in the city. Allahu Akbar. And the leader of the Syrian National Coalition has called on all rebel fighters to unite in one national army. We will try to include all fighters in the national army. All the revolutionaries are welcome. But there should be order restored and work should be institutionalized. We will not exclude anyone and this army will be under the supervision of the FSA Chief of Staff and under the umbrella of the Syrian National Coalition. Meanwhile, Syrian television says government forces are engaged in fierce battles to cleanse Deir ez Zor from terrorists. It reports that the army has hit what it called a gathering of terrorists in Al Huayqa and Al Sinaiya districts and destroyed their weapons and vehicles. And in the western coastal front, the battle to control Latakia is intensifying. The rebels' chief of staff toured the countryside with his commanders. We are here to inspect the situation on the coastal front and the victories achieved by our revolutionaries. We are also here to refute the rumors that we have ordered our fighters to withdraw. On the contrary, we are increasing our efforts on the coastal front. And in Arastan and Homs, the sounds of explosions terrify a population which is surrounded by death and destruction. Omar Saleh Al Jazeera.